Hey guys, so today's project we're going to put a new Formica on the countertop here, make it a little longer so you can get um, like bar stools and stuff, breakfast little breakfast table. So first thing we gotta do is gotta take the old top off, build a new top, put our um, hardwood edge around it, and then we need to start for Micah. So that's what we're gonna do. If you guys wanna follow along, that'd be appreciated, and keep watching. Bye. So the top is off, that was pretty easy. Just gotta get the staples off here. And uh, I'll go ahead and start cutting a new top. All right, so got the top cut. It's like 32 by 48. Um, got liquid nails put down. Um, so we're gonna set the top on. And square it up. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'll um, run some nails in, put the other top on, and then we'll um, go from there. So 
what I'm doing right now is cutting my like two inch for my strips are gonna go around the edge. And how I'm doing that is I just have a two inch board for mica clamp down on it. And then I have a flush mount, a flush cutting router bit. So I'm just cutting along this board, which makes my nice little two inch strips right over there. And that's the flush mount or flush uh, router bit. So I'll let you watch. So I'm cutting the strips at two inches. I only need them to be a one and a half, but that way it gives me plenty of leeway when I go to glue them on. Um, and then you still trim them. So I got one more to cut. It's like that. for the fix-all to dry on the top so I'll be back to you guys in just a second all right so <clears throat> excuse me all right so we're gonna put on our edges I already got two edges on the long sides here and we're gonna put on the new side so what you do is you take the contact cement you Basically you paint your, our two strips, you paint both ends, you wait until it dries to the touch, and then you stick them on there and then roll it. And um, So that's what you got, you just gotta let it dry. You can kind of see we're dry, like right there. It's pretty good, this one's pretty dry. Little wet right here yet. So we just gotta wait for that to dry. We'll stick it on and then route it. Okay. <clears throat> Is it going? Yeah. Okay, so I just centered it, pushed it on. It's glued, it's, as soon as the two pieces touch, it's, it's there. Now I'm just taking a washcloth and a rubber mallet and kind of just rolling it on. You want to be real careful of this edge. These edges will cut your fingers really bad. Okay, and then we start routering.
Edit. Ding. Okay, so we got our flush mount. You want to just make sure your bearing is clean. There's no glue on your bearing. Okay, so the top is all sanded, prepped. Um, any little blemished holes are filled. It's nice and smooth. And uh, now we're just putting on the contact cement. You just want to cover all the area, um, especially the edge. And then what we'll do is I'm gonna, we'll lay down some dowels put the top on upside down and cover it and then I'll show you how we're gonna stick it on there okay so you can tell that we're still wet um, got a good shine on it so you just put some dowels um, you know quarter inch dowels or whatever down and then we'll put the top on So then the top goes on upside down and we're just going to paint this real quick. Okay, you can see it's a little dry right here. We're still wet. So we just got to give it 10 or 15 minutes. Um, bottom side is looking pretty good and dry. Just gotta get the top dry and then we'll stick it on there. All right, so this is dry to the touch. Oop, a little right there, but that's... Um, so we're gonna flip it over. Trying to kind of center it here. Oh, I got a lot. So you just want to make sure it's going to cover. Push down the middle.
And then we're just gonna roll it out and push it down. Okay, it's down, it's glued. We're gonna do the final, the flush trim router. So here we go. And what you do now is you take a normal file, wood file, metal file, and we just file really close downwards. You don't want to touch the, the edge, but you're just going to kind of round off this edge that we just flushed. And it's real easy to go around. If you got to watch real quick, I'll do a little chunk for you. Just real nice. You want the file nice and flat, so there's just a little tiny gap there, and you're just and you can fill it with your finger if you fill a little thing. Then you want to file it. You're just gonna go around the whole edge, just just a slight angle. And that's it. We'll be back with you in a few minutes. So there is our Formica countertop. It's done, it's trimmed, sanded, cleaned, ready to use. Enough room there for our uh, uh, bar stool breakfast little nook thing. Came out really nice. Um, tomorrow we're gonna finish off the bottom half, which is just we're throwing in some trim and stuff on it. And then we got the rest of the kitchen we're gonna end up doing. But again, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave a thing down below. Give us a thumbs up, like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, as always, thanks for watching and have a great night.